Hi, Shakespeare's. Hi, Curvy Queens. Hope your day is going well. Like the title says, today's video is going to be all about spring trends. <laughs> About you guys but I get excited every time there is a new season um, just because we get to like switch up our wardrobe a little bit and it gives you some time to kind of do some editing or auditing first off um, you could have clicked on any video and you chose to click on this one I appreciate that thank you if you're new here my name is Chi Chi and I cover fashion beauty and lifestyle so if that's the kind of stuff you're into then it says you're in the right place without further ado Let's get into this video. So as the title says, we are talking about trends and I'm super excited to dive in. Now this year I'm doing things a little bit different because not only would I be sharing with you the top wearable trends, sis, I will also be sharing with you the trends I would not be caught dead in. All right, let's get into the first trend, the color of the season, according to Chi. <laughs> There are a lot of colors this season, but I really feel like this is the breakout color and that is bubblegum pink. Now I've been seeing a lot of pink in the last year or so, but I feel like this season it's definitely having its moment and you can do, go on um, either side of the shade of bubblegum pink. You can go really light and kind of veer into like the pastel side of things and you can go really dark and kind of veer into the fuchsia side of things. As long as you stick with that vibrant pink, you are checking all the boxes, okay? Checking all the boxes. I personally love a vibrant pink because it looks phenomenal on dark skin. So if you are looking for a trend to incorporate into your wardrobe, Try pink. It was seen on Dolce & Gabbana. It was seen on Valentino. Now, what I like about color trends is that you can invest in it and pick up something designer. I like maybe Nerda Porte, maybe find a Dolce & Gabbana or a Valentino, or you can go to Walmart, okay? And find yourself a cute little fuchsia t-shirt or top, etc., etc. I actually saw some cute fuchsia tops on Shein. So, you know, you can find <laughs> your ideal price point and try this trend. Now, if you recall this blazer from my last haul, it kind of ticks two trends. I'm gonna be talking about that trend next, but you can see it's this beautiful, vibrant pink. And it, I'm telling you, if you have never tried this color, definitely try it, especially if you're a dark skin mommy, because it will look so good on you. The next trend I wanna talk about um, is going to be the relaxed, style or relaxed trend. we are coming to this point in fashion where it's so accessible now to everyone that we're all kind of determining what trends we like or want to buy into. So I feel like this season there were so many micro trends. Um, but I noticed a theme and that is a relaxed theme. And I'm sure it was heavily influenced by quarantine and all of us just preferring to wear clothes that are more comfortable. So. The first sort of major section of this trend will be in the blazer. So relaxed boyfriend style, borrowed from the dad's style blazers were very in. I personally think this trend is very accessible and very wearable because literally you can just go into your dad's closet, your partner's closet, you can go thrifting and have your way with the men's section and you would have a plethora of options in the relaxed style blazer category. And the same category is going to be the slouchy pant. Now this could be a wide leg pant, a cargo pant, but just a looser pant that is still somewhat tailored. I am here for the wide leg pant style. I just need to find a place that makes tall plus wide leg pants. Cause sis can't find it. Like I spent hours and I still can't find it. I feel like, I think I found one brand, but I'm trying to find something that's accessible to everyone because the options I found are a little bit on the higher end side. But sis, like, can I have long wide leg pants in a size 20, ideally, because I like to size up on my wide leg pants because I really wanted to skim the body. So definitely the relaxed style or a trend is having a moment and it's probably something you already have in your wardrobe but you can easily um, get your hands on. 
Now, continuing on with that is kind of like the opposite of that. I know I just said like relaxed style, um, but second skin is another trend that we're seeing a lot. And the everyday sort of interpretation of that would be the bodysuit or something that's fitted and ribbed. So it's, you know, close to the body, but it's also comfortable because it has some stretch to it. So from rib tops to mesh tops, I've seen a lot of that um, on the runway. One designer that um, comes to mind is going to be Prada. And then there's this other designer, Sis cannot pronounce her name. So this is her name right here. <laughs> she definitely popularized it with the head to toe. So like mesh cat suit with matching matching shoes i've seen it on my girl pockets and bows here on youtube i've seen it on kylo lux so if you like that sort of uh leotard look sis has got you now if you're looking to try the trend in a more affordable way you can do check out pretty little thing check out Shein, misguided reformation all of these brands do like a mesh or at least a very thin fitted style top. So definitely check out that trend. The next trend I wanna to talk to you guys about is going to be the cutout. That's another trend that I, we saw everywhere. So cutouts everywhere you can think of. Cutouts in the sleeves, cutouts on the shoulders, cutouts on the decolletage, cutouts on the back, cutouts on the side. So many fun cutouts happening right now. And it's another trend that I saw across the board on different designer runways. Now, it's a very wearable trend in my opinion. You just have to figure out where you, you know, what part of your body you are trying to accentuate and find a cutout to match. So the perfect cutout, not only as interest to like a basic bodysuit, like I have on here, but it also adds a little bit of, you know, sex appeal a touch of skin in an unexpected place. And I'm here for this trend. Now, maybe it's because we've all been spending our lives indoors or because a lot of our shopping budgets have been drastically reduced or we just don't have the appetite for frilly things that we'll never wear. We saw a lot of utility inspired clothing. I think even the designers that tend to be living in their own world kind of got that memo. So we're seeing a lot of high end sports luck. So you know, high-end joggers. And we're seeing a lot of like utility inspired shoes. We're seeing a lot of like combat boots. We're seeing a lot of just things that are more comfortable because I don't know about you guys, but I feel like most of us have zero appetite for clothing that's tight, constricting, uncomfortable. You need a girdle for heels that hurt. <laughs> like we had zero appetite and I feel like the designers kind of got that and they made clothing this year that mirrors the life that we're currently living. So the next trend is something I feel like has been around for a while now and it's still going strong and that's going to be the Victorian influence trend. So think about puffy sleeves, um, different layers of like sheer fabrics, like lace and just sheer pieces, chiffon, um, sweetheart necklines. All of this is still going strong. And we saw a lot of that for spring and summer 2021. This is by far one of my favorite trends and honestly one of the most wearable trends because a cute top and jeans is like my <laughs> go-to outfit at this time. And it's a very accessible trend because you can find this across the board. So you can look at Shein, Target, you can go high-end to like Stodd. You can even go to like places like Cult Gaia. Um, all of these brands are all carrying a version of like the exaggerated sleeve, the sweetheart neckline. Reformation does a really good line of tops in that category. I even saw a really cute one at H&M. Um, so whatever, however you want to, you know, dabble into this trend, you will find something for you. And there's just something about out of this sexy, but also kind of statement, like imagine finding a very like voluminous top with voluminous sleeves and like a hot pink. 
goals. I'm going to look for that for y'all. <laughs> um, so, or even like a tangerine, perfect for vacay. This is a trend I think is a very accessible, very wearable, and will work for most people. Now, I promised you guys that I would share with you guys the trends that I wouldn't be caught did wearing. Okay, if you know anything about me in fashion, you know that I definitely believe that you should try something at least one time and that you can make any trend work for you. So it's a lot when I say that I would not be caught dead in these trends, okay? And I'm gonna need y'all's opinion on some of these trends. So the first one is going to be the leggings with the stirrups. Can't catch me in it. You cannot catch me in leggings with stirrups. First of all, it's like a, I don't know, it's the 80s, 90s sort of like trend. And I have seen all the street style star, all the fashionista babes trying to bring it back and it can't be brought back. It's it's dead and it should stay dead. Like I do not understand the purpose of leggings like that unless you are a equestrian um, person, you ride horses, or unless you are a dancer and you need your leggings to stay in place um, while you're dancing. I don't see why people are trying to bring this back, especially with Kitty and Heels. I just want to scream <laughs> when I see this trend. Let me know in the comments below how you feel about the stirrups, if that's what you like or not. Um, I would love to know. Now, the next trend that you cannot pay me money to wear is going to be like what I've dubbed the G-string trend. Now, I told you guys that cutouts are having a moment and something I saw a lot of was like clothing with like a G-string style attachment. And I'm like, why? But why? Why, why, why? Why is this a trend? You know, like for example, this dress right here has the little G-string on the side. First of all, I got saddlebags or is it a muffin top? And so it would not look like that on me. This other ensemble, it's like, why would I want, it looks like I pulled up my G-string. Like why, why, why? Anyways, these are the trends that I would not be caught dead wearing. And I would like to know from you, what trends are you super excited to buy into for this season? And what trend would you not be caught wearing? Okay. <laughs> when I'm not on these YouTube streets, you can always catch me on Instagram. My DM is open. I love to have conversations with you guys. If you have questions about anything that I've shared, you can always leave a comment down below. If you enjoyed this video, I'm kind of thinking about doing a lookbook showing you how I style these spring trends. So if that's something you'll be into, then make sure to hit that like button um, and if you really didn't want me to do that video, <laughs> drop a comment letting me know. Now, if you enjoyed this video, and I think you did because you made it this far, then I'm sure you will like this video and make sure to check out this video. <laughs> Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share. Until next time, stay blessed.